everyone. Welcome to the world of wonderful and informative science experiments. The cation identified in this experiment is copper 2 or cupric ion Cu2+. Cations are positively charged ions. Most of the cations are metal ions. Cations combine with anions, that is, negatively charged ions, and form salts. We can identify the cations present in the salt by using two reagents, sodium hydroxide and ammonium hydroxide. In this experiment, I will show you how to identify the presence of cupric ion, copper 2, using, using the above reagents. This experiment is done using Le Box Science Experiment Kit. I hope you all are ready, so let us begin. The materials required for this experiment are two test tubes, water, sodium hydroxide solution, ammonium hydroxide solution, copper to sulfate salt, hydrated copper sulfate or cupric sulfate. Take sodium hydroxide solution, ammonia solution, water, take two test tubes, take copper sulfate salt, it is blue in color. Take a test tube. Add the copper sulfate salt into the test tube. Do it carefully. Now add water to the salt. We have to prepare the solution. Close the mouth of the test tube. Shake the test tube well so that the salt dissolves in the water. Now the solution is ready. Divide the solution into two equal parts. For this, take another test tube. Pour the solution to the other test tube.
It is ready. Now, now take one part of the solution. Take sodium hydroxide solution. Add sodium hydroxide solution into the copper sulfate solution. First, add few drops. Observe carefully. A pale blue precipitate is evolved. See whether it dissolves. Add excess. And check whether it dissolves. No, it doesn't dissolve. Keep it aside. Now take another part of the solution. Take ammonia solution. Add few drops of ammonium hydroxide solution. A pale blue precipitate is evolved. You can see a dark blue because the pale blue precipitate dissolved and forms a dark blue solution. Now you can see the pale blue precipitate at the bottom. Still well. Add some more ammonium hydroxide solution. Stay well. It dissolves to form a dark blue solution. Copper sulfate solution forms a pale blue precipitate with excess sodium hydroxide and deep blue solution with excess ammonium hydroxide. Observe. Compare. Let us understand. The chemical reaction is CuSO4 copper sulfate plus 2NaOH sodium hydroxide reacts to give Na2SO4 sodium sulfate plus CuOH twice copper hydroxide it is a pale blue insoluble precipitate The second reaction is CuSO4 copper sulfate plus 2NH4OH ammonium hydroxide gives NH4 twice SO4 ammonium sulfate plus CuOH twice copper hydroxide. It is a pale blue precipitate which is soluble in excess ammonium hydroxide. The reaction continues. CuOH twice. Copper hydroxide plus NH4 twice SO4. Ammonium sulfate plus 
2NH4OH. Ammonium hydroxide reacts to give 4H2O. Water plus CuNH3 4 SO4. Tetraamine copper sulfate. It is a deep blue or inky blue solution. It is time for quiz. Name the reagents used for the identification of cupric ion. Sodium hydroxide and ammonium hydroxide. Second question. What is the observation when sodium hydroxide solution is added in excess to copper to sulfate solution? Insoluble pale blue precipitate is evolved. What is the observation when ammonium hydroxide solution is added in excess to copper to sulphate solution? A pale blue precipitate formed dissolves in excess ammonium hydroxide solution and forms a dark blue solution. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you for watching.